Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Lim. Today, I want you to share information about pediatric hip dysplasia. Okay, let's start with the questions to understand those three topics, especially how you distinguish between uh, bottle test and orthotonist test and gallon signs. Okay. I'll give you 50 seconds to answer these questions. All right. Before I describe the test, we should know hip dysplasia about pathologies. I mean, you should understand what is the hip dysplasia. Hip dysplasia is the medical term for a hip socket that doesn't fully cover the ball portion of the upper thigh bone. This allows the hip joint to become partially or completely dislocated. Can you see uh, those, all, those all pictures? Right? A is normal, right? The acetabulum and femoral hip head femur head is the right position. What about B? B can be dysplasia because there is the spaces, right? And it can make um, dislocated position, all right? And uh, what about three? I mean the C, this is called the sub subluxations and D, luxations, all right? So what do you call the barrel test and orotonis test? Actually, it makes me really confused when I'm when I'm choosing the options and when I'm when I'm taking tests and PTE. Uh, the first, the bottle test. Bottle test is uh, right this picture. It called the bottle maneuver. Uh, the examiner grabs the infant thigh near the hip, all right, and then uh, gently posteriorly press and uh, what about this a deduction right a deduction and posteriorly press what it happens the hip dislocated uh, from the acetabulums all right normally there is no motion in these directions if the hip is dislocated uh, and also a distinct clock may be felt as the femur head pop out of the joint. If you did a deduction and posterior press, there can be the clock sound, all right? Uh, what about alternis, alternis maneuver? For the alternate maneuver, uh, the hip is a deduction, right? Can you see this motion? Hip you you can you can do it this a b duction right and gently press is applied to the proximal thigh from behind like this it means that uh you can make relocated relocation from an already dislocated femur head back into the acetabulums so you can make relocation all right the bottle test is for the dislocation, make dislocation, and orthotonist test make uh, relocations. You got it. What about the gallon sign? Gallon sign is to check the hip dysplasia after three months of baby. Can you see that uh, the different position between two legs? All right, there is the different. That is called the gallon sign. It means something happens, right? Something happens of the hip joint. So you can check, uh, you can suspect there is something problems of the hip joint, right? But uh, in the real MPT, what uh, the important thing is the uh, duration. I mean, the three months of baby. You should check three months of the baby, all right? What about this? What about this test? Uh, 
This is called the Obers test, right? To identify uh, tightness of the iliotibial band. This is not for pediatrics, right? So the questions. The answer is number one. Right? Thank you for watching. Thank you.